I swear, the things I do for this channel. So first I want to sum things up here. The first movie was okay. It, it, no, no, it, like, it, it was stupid, but it worked well as a popcorn flick. It was fun to watch, and I had a good laugh with it. The second movie made my brain shrink a couple of sizes. It, it was very painful. And the third movie, my brain did still shrink, but a slightly, ever so slightly slower pace. It did, oh god. Transformers, the Age of Extinction. First thing, Muckle Bay, fuck you. How dare you drag Kelsey Grammer into this? He's a good actor. Like, what, what did he do to deserve this? Or should I be blaming Kelsey Grammer for even luring self to take this position? They must have paid the guy with a dump truck full of money. I mean, I guess you'd have to. You, you have to, to be lowered to this level. So what is there to say about the Age of Extinction? It's the same Michael Bay formula. Sunsets, American flags, military wet dreams, women are objects. You're not saying much about yourself if these are your directing trademarks. Half the characters didn't even have a point in this movie. Uh, Jaeger's daughter, the, the bimbo, oh my god. Like, she, no, she had no point. She was just there for some, you know, for something pretty, hold on. She was just something that the boys could look at, something really pretty. But in the movie, all she did was get in the way. She, like, oh god, she was so annoying. And, and speaking of which, her boyfriend, why is he there? Like, is he there just to emphasize that Jaeger's daughter's begging somebody? Like, that's important? And Wembley, poor Wembley. And if the guy was going to die at the beginning of the movie, like, why did they even write him in? We, we banned at the note of God, so no one really cared when he was killed off. The only bright spot in this movie was Stanley, who, who played the guy of uh, the head of KSI. He had a few humorous moments that actually worked, and it seemed a little out of place for a Michael Bay movie, which is a good thing. But what pisses me off about this whole thing is action movies are beginning to lose their relevance because of Michael Bay. Like, this guy is. He's destroying the genre. It's so bad now that when a new action flick comes out, people start to dismiss them as another dumb Michael Bay flick. And all the absence of Shia LaBeouf is an improvement uh, for this fourth movie, but there's there's very little going for this. It's just, just nothing saving it. It's, it does not represent anything that I think of when I when I reminisce about Transformers, like nothing that I love is is bringing in any of these movies. Uh, personally, like if you want to, you know, go go back to the '80s movie, or no, better yet, uh, watch Beast Wars or Beastie. Like that. See, that's the kind of shows I think of when I hear Transformers. You know, good action, good stories, good characters. Everything was good. Like, yes, it was silly, but it was still good, entertaining. These movies, they're an oh god. They're not entertaining. The first one, kind of, but the, the, re the rest. <laughs> so, I'm gonna rank these. The first movie would be the best one. This fourth movie is a distant second. Then there's a number two movie and a third movie. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the, the second movie is. The worst. I did. Oh god. So yet again, Michael Bay managed to steal two and a half hours of my life. That I'll never get back. I'll, I'll never get it back. Well, that's kind of worth it for seeing the giant rainbow dash being transformed into an assault rifle. I'll, 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 I'll give him that. I'll give him that. That, that. that was actually kind of funny. But, and, what's one thing I, I, I noticed here? Is it just me? Are the Transformers looking worse after each passing movie? God, they looked horrible. They, they just look like a pile of junk being tossed together. And, like, you can't, and it makes the fight scenes even worse. You, you know, once again, you can't tell from the head to the toe to what's fighting and, and the Dinobots. As cool as they looked, 
Um, when Optimus Prime was riding uh, Grimlock, although he was never referred to that in the movie, uh, he just looked like a giant lump on his back. <laughs> like a big tumor. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, I hated it. I mean, I love Transformers, but I mean, this, these, this just insults me. Oh god. It just, uh, yeah. Uh, do what you want. See if you want or don't. I don't care. It's just, damn.